is the ACC on ESPN. Thirty-sixth meeting all time. Florida State kicks off. They won the toss and deferred. 45, Sean. It's an incredible story, which we will continue to add on to as we go. Great job, Molly. Here's Will Shipley on first down for Clemson. Receiver in the passing game. Gain of nearly five on the first play from scrimmage. Klubnik into a crowd, and it's batted. There another important receiver's gone for the year after adductor surgery. So they're a little diminished at the wide receiver position. Good time for Klubnik on target. First down. Perfect throw. Nice conversion. Cypress one of many transfers who have been a big part of their together on second and nine. Maffa. Good Riley, the offensive coordinator brought over from TCU. And he calls it the dirt raid. He's out of the air raid system, popularized by Mike Leach and others. But unlike a lot of air raid programs, they lean much more heavily on the run. Hence the dirt raid. On third and three, Shipley did not get there. About a yard and is the punter Keon Coleman, another one of those transfers, has made a huge impact. Now they move into position. Well, it might be a fake, or perhaps just trying to draw Florida State offside. Again, offense. And they took too Five long to do it. Fourth down. Dabo Sweeney to Bowden, who won 117 regular season ACC games. Swanson, good punt. And Coleman has it go over his head and into the end zone. That opening win against LSU, in which he was terrific. Dual threat quarterback gets it out into the flat immediately. Wide receiver Mike Norvell arrived, had great faith in him as a quarterback, and he has developed. 18 and 6. He's won his last nine games as a starter, as have the Knowles, and there's a powerful run. Impressive young man, a team leader. Dabo Sweeney raved about his appreciation for Travis as both a person and a player. Still five on the play clock, as always, as the visitors, you battle the deafening noise. There, did so right there, adjusted to that the line of scrimmage, complete freedom to change anything he sees defensively. Second down and nine. Travis fires, caught, short of a first down, is the tight end Kyle Morlock, which he is a veteran group that welcomes back Maurice Smith at center today. Benson got just enough for the first down. Bounced off the hit from Jeremiah Trotter. Justin Maskell also in there for Clemson. This year. And that's a sign of good coaching. Scoring on the first drive of every half this year. Travis back throwing. It should have been down on the same page there with his tight end. Second down and 10 from their own 45. Rodney Hill. Travis throws on his back foot and he completes it and then it comes out. After missing the last two weeks, played in the opener against Duke, part of an experienced secondary that they think is much improved after a big time struggle last year. Alex Mastromano, the putter, good in 1967. Our friend and legendary colleague Brent Musburger called it the most exciting 25 seconds in college football. Pass batted down. He's got at least 10, 15 yards from the nearest defender. On second and 10, after a 44-yard punt by Mastromano, pinned them in. Will ship a little time to survey the field downfield. So Adam Fuller, defensive coordinator. Club throws, far sideline, caught first. Still it in for the conversion. Late sub running on for Florida State. They weren't set up front. And Shipley goes right through the middle. Fine job, we're happy to have him. <laughs> Personal foul. 
Defense, number 55. Didn't even see him coming. It's an ear hole shot, but a big mistake there by the substitution of Florida State defense. First and ten. Swing pass. Aaron Lillay struggled early in the ACC title game. He came in, Klubnik, and was the game MVP in their win over North Carolina. Another one that required a hands catch by the speedster Tyler Brown. Third and one. A lot of faking in the pass. Batted nine. Nearly nine minutes in. Movement, but they got back. It was Shaheem Brown. Play clock down to three. Do they intend to snap it? No. Dabo Sweeney indicating that he was trying to call a timeout. I think they're going to give him the timeout. Green Day, their team about to go for it on fourth and one at the Florida State 49. Maffa is the big running back. Maffa, first down, running off. Playing without their starting right guard, Walker Parks. Mitchell Mays is in at right guard. Club Nick, wide open. Jake Brenning stole the tight end. And there's a flag down on that play. Pass interference. Offense, number eight. 15 yard penalty. So a big call instead of going to the Florida State 30, they're at their own 40 and first and 25. Klubnik on the design roll, put it up for grabs. I think it's a good call. On second and 25, under duress, out for Shipley with a lot of running room. Will Shipley breaks tackles. And he's out of there in all-purpose yards per game. Will Shipley, the junior from the Charlotte area. Third down and seven. Club Nick has a man open. It's caught. Tyler Brown on a crossing route. Four receivers lined up in a bunch to the short side of the field. And another flag flies. Prior to the snap. Ball start. Offense, number 78. Jonathan Whites, might we see him on the field shortly? Will Shipley. Surprisingly, does not have a rushing touchdown this year. He goes out in the pass pattern and has it. 14th play of the drive. They've marched 82 yards. Third down and three. Design quarterback draw, it seemed, for Klubnik in Charleston, South Carolina earlier this week to see if he would come back. He arrived on Monday. And his first career somewhere here today watching his now future employee. Gun. Colorado finally gets some attention. On first down, Travis swings it out wide for Keon Coleman. For the return and played the entire second half. He told us during the week he's good to go. Feels fine. Jaheim Bell stacked up. By a fired up Clemson defense. <laughs> On third and ten. Travis wrapped up and spun down. That point favorite on the road today, down three to nothing. And punting on fourth and 17. On the first play of the second quarter. Alex Mastromano, short, wobbly kick. And looked like it landed on the side lot after the less than impressive win at Boston College last week, just a two-point victory start, which has not been the case today. On second down, the catch made by Maffa. For open with a back shoulder. Given a lot of time, deep down. Out on Oregon next on first and goal from the six. Phil Maffa here in the low red zone. And they'll try to run it in with Shipley, who got belted back. Line has had a lot of success moving the defensive tackles for the Knolls. The fake to Shipley, 
it's over the head of the tight end, Jake Brinningstool. And a flag comes out. Tatum Bethune, the fifth-year senior out of Miami, a transfer from UCF. As you can see, working against Burningstool, difficult spot to be in. Burningstool gives the impression that he's blocking for a minute, then tries to release upfield, and you see the left hand of Bethune grabbing the jersey. That's a good call there by the official to give Clemson a fresh set of downs. Mafa. Dude, to see if they can't move that defender off the ball. Shipley the long back now. Klubnik went under center. They try the quarterback sneak with Klubnik. Touchdown! Off the beach in Charleston and off the golf course. Robert Gunn is still the kickoff man. Dabo Sweeney said he just needs to catch his breath. He's going to have a great career here. And they needed a long field goal into the game, end of the half. They would probably go to Gunn. Appealing matchups. Around the landscape, Travis dropped. A little screen from Marquiston Douglas, a tight end. And that play had potential if he held on to it. Very veteran roster for the Knowles. Kyle Morlock, another one of the deep tight end group, went in motion. Travis under duress, back shoulder is remarkable. Did well to put it away right along the sideline. Travis over the middle and batted away. Toa Feely, the running back now. Toa Feely got the handoff. Third down and 11. Travis just four out of eight passing for 32. Clemson brings some pressure. Travis caught. And we'll see where they clearly he's not 100%. Fourth and one, they're going for it. At least lined up to do so. Jaheim Bell went in motion. They do snap it. It's Travis on a design run. It looks like he just got part of the field where Mike Norvell likes to get aggressive and throw it downfield. Travis throws down the field, caught first down. Up and delivers the hit and forces the ball out of Jordan Travis's hands a little quicker than he'd like. Still a nice catch and a nice throw by the quarterback. 14-yard gain. Florida State on the move. For the first time, down 10 to nothing. Plenty of time for Travis. Over the middle and caught. Into that one with great precision. And he did so beautifully. Pressured by Tyler Davis, the outstanding defensive tackle. Midway through the second quarter. Travis again given time on target. Jaheim Bell nearly broke the tackle of Andrew Makuba. Last time Bell was here, extremely versatile, can play running back, can play tight end, and can, of course, split out as a wide receiver. Back to the ground in a quality game by Benson. Still so far this year. The 11th play of the drive with Rodney Hill, now the running back. Travis looking for Hill on a wheel. And it resulted in a lot for the Jordan Travis and the Seminoles. Second and goal, 12th play of the drive. They started on their own 25. Design run for Travis. And not a lot of running. Third and goal from the seven. Play clock at two. Travis ends on wide open touchdown. Keon Coleman has Florida State on the board. Man, what an amazing design right here. You see Keon Coleman. Look at him hesitate. Boop. 
right around the defender that's coming out to take care of him on the underneath. He slips right in behind, and he finds himself an easy touchdown. That's just terrific design by Mike Norvell, acknowledging what Clemson's going to do in that situation and finding a perfect matchup to take advantage of. It's R.J. Mickens who lost the coverage. Does that go into the announcer jinx category soon as we talk about the improved pass defense, the guys <laughs> wide open in the end zone? <laughs> it could have gone both ways, though, because Florida State, you said they had scored. On ESPN and ESPN2, the point is the Rams and the Bengals. Bengals need to get it going. Here's Will Shipley. Almost got it. Well, 13 and 14. Hasn't won one since. Of course, Bobby Bowden won 12. That is the all-time record for coaches with Doozy. Kenny Pickett. Fake that slide. fake slide. <laughs> kept running, and they actually uh, changed the rules as a result. Quick slant. Caught. First down. Troy Stallone. To really step up. Gain of 14. Klubnik pressured. Klubnik takes off running and scampers out of bounds with the game. Chased out by Kalen Dolemson. Lined up in that bunch to the right. That ball goes to Stilato again. Sophomore from the maybe thinking a little bit more ball control. Don't want to give the ball back too quickly to that Florida State offense that's found themselves. They have not been a big play offense this year. Clemson, they've scored a lot of points. Here's a big play. Brenning stole 103rd in the country in fewest 30-plus plays. Defensively and defensively. Club negate for his last eight passing. Feeling it. They give him another short throw and a touchdown. Wills. From the beach in Charleston and the golf courses into the Lou Groza Award conversation as he keeps going as he has today. Made a 30-yard field goal in his only extra point attempt. <laughs> Hello. Kickoff is a touch. They scored on a nifty drive in their last possession. They have two 12 and two timeouts. Down by 10. Wide open on target. Jaheim Bell belted out of bounds by Andrew Makuba. But a first down with 11 yards. Also strikes me as dramatically incorrect behind Chris Winky. Good pocket. And now on the run. It's caught by Keon Coleman. And still going down the sideline. That's what Travis can do. Injured left shoulder, but he throws a strike and makes a big play. 38 yards. The crowd thought Xavier Thomas was being held by Jeremiah Byers as they looked at a replay on the scoreboard. That was the reason for the booze. First and 10 under a minute and a half to go. Travis down the sideline trying to throw it up. For the angular Johnny Wilson, there is a flag down. It was Sheridan Jones who had coverage. Pass interference, defense, number six. Really the running back. All kinds of time now for the Knowles. Travis using that freedom given to him by the coaches to perhaps change the play. Toa Feely. Ran into a wall, no gain. Second and nine, quick pop. Bell lunging for the end zone, didn't get there. Got to the one, R.J. Mickens prevented the touchdown. Stadium scoreboard says third and goal. Florida State thought it had a first down. It doesn't matter. They have a touchdown. Jordan Travis. 
His 26th career rushing touchdown adding to his Florida State quarterback record. And you see that void right there along the defensive front. Travis recognizes it, tries to find it. Somehow finds a lot of room on the right-hand side and slips his way into the end zone. What a response from the Seminoles. Going 75 yards for the second possession in a row. Needed just a minute 50 that time. Ryan Fitzgerald the extra point. We'll be back in eight seconds after a look from Ram Trucks. Man, he's showing his toughness as well. Fitzgerald kicks off. Came to Florida State. It did not start well. I think Notre Dame pulls off the stutter tonight. What might be their biggest win in 30 years? Straight ahead with Maffa. He's nine for his last nine. Flush from the pocket and sacked by Patrick Payton. Big their first lead of the day. Robert Gunn. With another touch. With Lawrence Toafili, the running back, a play fake, a deep shot. Wilson behind the defense has the catch. And if that throw had been just a little longer, he might have gone even further. A 40-yard completion on the first play of the half. Ball just the tiniest bit underthrown, but look at the separation for creating a big play. Travis battling through the left shoulder injury suffered last week. Had a cut on his hand in the first half here today. Out wide, and nothing doing. Too big for Jordan Travis. And rushed for only 20 yards as a team. Trying to get it going with Benson, who got coming in on five and a half a carry. Three out of six on third down. Travis dumps it off. Toa Feely does not get the right. That's Trey Benson, and see if he can't pound it up for a gain of one. Benson in the pistol. Travis keeps it flagged down. First down if the play stands. Keon Coleman chopped down at the 15-yard line by Nate Wiggins. For 10 yards, there is a flag. Far sideline. Illegal formation. Offense. More than four players in the backfield. Five-yard penalty. From the right hash mark, there's really no breeze at the moment. Ryan Fitzgerald just three out of three. Haven't kicked a lot of field goals so far. Low, but with plenty of distance. And good. Ryan Fitzgerald kicks off after his field goal to tie the game. He got hit as he throws single coverage. And the back. Green and Adam Randall. Ten for ten now for Klubnik. With some help from Randall, had to pull that one down. Bill Maffa, stacked defensive end on Mel Kuyper's draft board. A top 10 pick, blitz off the corner. Klubnik almost had it intercepted. Diving attempt by Jari and Jones. It was Zarie Thomas who came on the corner blitz. Man, all-out pressure, but a good job by Klubnik initially avoiding the unblocked defender. But as you see, as he kind of recoiled, he saw Jerry and Jones undercut, and that was one heck of a play. For that incompletion, here's Aiden Swanson, the putter. Probably would have been the place kicker this week, too, if Jonathan White had not joined the program. Booming putt, Keon Coleman, dangerous return man. <laughs> Five minutes gone by, third quarter, and drop for Hotel. And number 12 for the Tigers is going to be a problem. Phoenix City, Alabama. Momentum has shifted to Florida State, once down 10 to nothing. Now tied at 17 and trying to take the lead for the first time. Hill again turned it. He needed to go off the field for medical attention. So that's the stoppage. He's out for at least a play. Washington, who has played a lot and started at center, is in. 
on third down at 11. He started at center the last two weeks. Movement and flags down. Might be a free play. Up for grabs for Wilson. And he couldn't corral it with Nate Wiggins in coverage. It looked like Clemson was offside. Why not throw a jump ball to Johnny Wilson at 6-7? Defense, number three, five-yard penalty, third down. Three out of seven on third down on average to go of 6.4. It's just been upgraded to 7.3. Might be the exchange rate. Pressure, Travis off his back foot. Incomplete, intended clean. Alex Mastromano is the putter. Florida State's had the best punt coverage team in America through the first three games. Their opponents averaging minus three yards per punt return. A fair catch. The golf clubs. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> he's a lot tougher than I am, that's for sure. On first down, swing pass. And a broken tackle, Tyler Brown. This go makes it comfortable for his young quarterback. Gain of nine. And now Shipley ahead for the first down. Persian. Play action pass. Klubnik gets away from a jersey grab by Byron Turner. Now has the first down and much more. Delano's an excellent runner at quarterback for Boston College. The Klubnik game was 17. He got hit as he threw it. Still. Klubnik, short throw to Brinning Stool. And a short. The strike caught. Looked like it was a throw by Kate Klubnik. He takes off up the middle on a quarterback draw. Good for big problem for them in their opening loss at Duke. Abel Sweeney told us if we win this turnover margin, flag down on the run by Motha. Tackled by Jared Verse. Said if we win the turnover margin, we'll win the game. Personal foul, face mask, defense, double zero, 15 yard penalty, first down. Fabian Lovett. As you see Malfa getting up inside, there's Lovett, number zero, grabs that face mask quickly with his left arm as Verse cleans it up. A good call by the official. Shipley, the running back. He goes out of the right flat, calling for the ball. They go to Brittany Stoll instead, and he's down just shy of the goal. Before Florida State came back to tie it. Here's the 10th play of this drive. Watch for the QB sneak if they motion in behind Klubnik. Good call, Greg. And he's not in. Yeah, in this day and age, four minutes to go, third quarter. Shipley to the goal line, touchdown! So far today, Sean McDonough, Greg McElroy, Molly McGrath, our producer Phil Dean, our director Mike Roy, we send best wishes along to Scott Johnson, ordinarily the director on our crew, but Scotty Day had a little turn back to you. Be a big test for undefeated Colorado. They're about a three touchdown underdog against Coach Lanning's team. Benson on the screen, stayed on his feet. Spun away from Jeremiah. Incredible play. Jordan Travis with a flag down. Deep throw way too high for Keon Coleman. Jalen Phillips in coverage. Well, there's a flag at the line of scrimmage. Illegal formation. Offense. Five players in the backfield. Five-yard penalty. Last week, and has been grimacing multiple times today. Trey Benson, the running back. Trey Benson, the ball carrier, stacked up. On third and six, up for grabs and incomplete. Alex Mastromano from Australia is the putter. And a good one. Hamp Green. Hey. 
has not really utilized it to fortify their depth at many places. to exploit. They give it back to him and he's yanked down by for their team this year. Here's a blitz and Klubnik didn't see it coming. He got blasted by Kayla Deloach who has the ball and is heading toward the end zone. Touchdown Florida State. coordinator Adam Fuller it looks like Moffa maybe he's responsible because Kate Klubnik thinks he's protected he's not looking at the pressure whatsoever he saw Moffa kind of sneak out into his route his eyes were looking around instead they bring the pressure off the right hand side deliver a massive hit to Kate Klubnik the ball falls out going to the left and what a turn of events for the Seminoles 56 yards by Deloach, the best thing that happened to him in the Florida State was the ball clanged off the hands of Braden Fisk. The defensive tackle got to the much speedier Deloach. And the extra point is up and good by Ryan Fitzgerald. And we're tied again at 24 in the final 31 seconds of the third quarter. Man, how about the hit? Perfectly executed there. By Deloach, he attacks the quarterback's throwing hand. Kate Klubnik has absolutely no chance whatsoever to hold on to that football, especially as he's getting ready to release it. And Deloach finishes what he started as Mike Norvell has to love what he just saw from his defense, who was on their heels just a moment ago. Fitzgerald to kick off again. Finally a returnable kickoff. And it's Will Shipley. First team. Shipley weaving through traffic. Bouncing off a hit. And has a first down. A great play, but hey, we got to go right back. And uh, we've been moving the ball the whole game, so let's just respond. This is, this is how you win games like this. And they're not going to lay down, and neither are we. So... We got it to the fourth quarter. Got a heck of a matchup. We got to find a way to win it. All right, thanks, Coach. Well, confirming Florida State has lost seven in a row to Clemson. But they took. Well, something has to give here today. Clemson's won 25 straight conference home games. That streak on the line today. Here's pressure. Clubnick got it off quickly. Diving catch made. Aiden Swanson, end over end, fair catch signaled, and made by Keon. From their own 13. The design rollout for Travis, throwing it up for Wilson, and he can't. Those were the numbers starting today. A lob and a catch on the run by Benson. Up, up the sideline. Jeremiah Trotter didn't get him. And that led to much more run after. The 29 yards. Travis is now thrown for 221. Plenty of time. Throwing the wheel round and juggle. Cock Carter. Florida State still has not led today. They were down 10 to nothing, 17 to 7. Big body wide receiver against Jaden Lucas. That's where I'd be looking if I'm Jordan Travis. Clemson acting as though they might bring pressure. They did! And it is caught by Wilson in the middle. Comfortable and confident That's himself in his second year as the coordinator. Master Romano. Good end over end kick. Oh boy. They let it bounce. On Greg, Molly, back to you. Looking forward to that one right after we're finished here. And this is a dandy. 
There's Phil Moffa. Scored heavy win. Moffa remains the running back. Klubnik threw it to him. Lots of green grass. He tries to go up and over. Shipley stopped for no gain. Of course, Garrett Riley was the offensive coordinator last year. Points at Duke. They had over 400 yards of offense in that loss. False start here against False start the Tigers. Offense, number 77. Five-yard penalty, second down. It's the only game in the history of Clemson football in 128 years when they had 200 yards of rushing and... Good job with Kate Klubnick his last couple weeks. Just 34 years old. Klubnick steps into the pocket and throws two... Tough play call for him on third down and 14. Klubnick dumps it off. Bo Collins at the 20. Back for the Aiden Swanson punt. It is a deep. Coleman went to the left when the ball was coming to the right sideline. Now it's a different Florida State player who's every year. Jordan Travis after a 62-yard punt by Aiden Swanson. Knowles thought they'd have better field position than this. Travis pulled it back and five. And he's rushed for a touchdown. Jordan Travis, another one launched deep. Too far in front of Keogh. Four-man rush with a spy. Now the spy comes after Travis. On target to Wilson, but short of the first down. There is a flag in the offensive backfield. Looked like Xavier Thomas was held by Jeremiah Byers. He was. And this has been a difficult matchup all game for Jeremiah Byers. Xavier Thomas trying to work around the edges. Eight minutes to go. And a timeout called by Clemson. First charge timeout. Kind of threw Wes under the bus at the interview at the end of the first half as well. But can the defense make the play they did? After the timeout, it's Xavier Thomas. Just relentless pursuit, a three-man rush, but Thomas coming off the right edge. They even have help with their tight ends, try to help the protection. It still doesn't matter. Can't take a sack against the... Flip the field position. Florida State needs one, and they get a good one from Mastromano. Sending Hamp Green back inside his 35. And he's to Florida State for a touchdown. Four plays and a punt, six plays and a punt. After they'd scored on four of the previous five possessions. Bo Collins and trouble. And Klubnik got back on it. That was reminiscent of the Duke game. A costly missed exchange down around the goal line. Well, this is a run play, but you have the option as a quarterback to throw it if you like the covers to the outside. Shipley goes to receive it. Five or 11 on third down the Tigers. Klubnik against the blitz. Got rid of it. The crowd wants interference and a late flag comes flying in Mike Norvell can't believe it it was Shaheen Brown who blitzed for coach Norvell pass interference defense number eight. wow like Norvell saying is uncatchable but well, either way that's a good call it looked like Bo Collins had his arm around the hip of Bernardo Green here's Kay Klubnik that was an enormous call. The kicker, who was no longer in the program, got a call Sunday to come be their kicker. Showed up on Monday and has been flawless so far today. Three extra points Second and a made Jones field goal. Out. Clemson has not trailed today. Twice had a 10-point lead. Second and two. And a first down run. Dot clock before they snap the ball. Snap it at six. Design run for Klubnik. We've got black second down and seven pressure off the corner they throw it to the other side and be really effective here's the reload right now third down and six on target 
after they made him an offer. And he's been a very important player. Believable Hollywood ending. Gross as White's paced the sideline. They fake a trick play, and the ball's batted down. But tenth play of the possession. They bring pressure. Klubnik, and a big tap from the 20-yard line. A 30-yard kick, and it is no good! Mom, Lisa, the Whites family, Jonathan, the dad, they can't believe it. Wow, perfect snap, perfect hold, good contact. Unfortunately, though, that left foot angled just a little bit wide, and he pulls that ball just outside the left upright. What would have been a Hollywood ending. Well, the Raiders are on strike. Just agony. Jordan Travis. Travis, a good fake. Travis got away and then slid down. And Fitzgerald. Travis hooks it up for grabs. Incomplete. FSU, three for 11 on third down. Travis after the pump on target for Travis, plenty of time. 18 yard play. Travis too high. Career long is 53. That was in 2021. Be longer than that from here. Travis up for Coleman. Well tied at 24. The Knowles have not led today. Pressure up the middle. Travis flush. Fires and it's incomplete. What defense going to do? Way. Fourth down and 10, 18 to go. They brought pressure. Travis deep down the middle and incomplete. Looking for Keon Coleman. Double coverage arrived. It was Wiggins. And it was a good job buying a little time by Jordan Travis working one-on-one. -on -one, little contact at the top, but either way, and then you see how Wiggins lands kind of ball and stop the clock. So you can do that, or you can work the perimeter. You can work the sideline. No interceptions. He did lose a fumble against a blitzer that he didn't see. Conservative play call, but Shipley gets to the floor. Not even lining up to try to spike it. Oh, boy, did they mismanage this. I wound it. See, playing without suspended Jameis Winston. Here's Jaheim Bell on the first play of overtime. Second and nine. Jordan Travis throwing in a single coverage. And the catch made. They keep firing those jump balls. And that time, Keon Coleman brought it down for the touchdown. 24 yards, and Florida State leads for the first time today. What an incredible catch by Keon Coleman and tremendous recognition by his quarterback, Jordan Travis. A moment ago, Nate Wiggins injured on that long fourth down play, so he's working against Jaden Lucas, the young sophomore, talented player, but a guy that's probably not going to be able to win that 50-50 ball against the incredible Coleman. Every point important in overtime. Fitzgerald's PAT is good. Down day for this Clemson offense. Pressured. Klubnik got it. Order chanting defense. Palpable tension from the home crowd. Shipley, tough run. He was not good. Shipley, the lone running back again. They faked it to him. They throw it out wide. 
in order to get a fresh set of downs. Instead, he throws it out, set up fourth and two for the game. About a yard and a half that they have to have, or it's ball game over. Klubnik, the flat and an incomplete. Florida State wins at Clemson. They beat the Tigers for the first time since 2014. The return to Providence continues in a big way for Mike Norvell and Florida State. They are back, aren't they, Molly McGrath? Coach, you just had a big sigh of relief in a game where you never led in regulation. What did you learn about your team, specifically your defense, with well, that final stand? What a response. And, you know, we talk about that all the time. These guys have incredible heart. You know, they played. I told them it was going to take 60 minutes, and then going in overtime, it took a few more. But uh, just love, love what I saw from our guys. Never panicked. Just continue to play. There was, a, there was some, you know, obviously some ugly moments, but, you know, they just continued to fight and did what we needed to do to get the win. Speaking of heart, Jordan Travis pressured a lot in the first half. What kind of guts did you see from your quarterback down the stretch? Well, I mean, he's a winner, and, uh, you know, he's just such a great leader for this team. Uh, the way our guys compete, the way that they continue to push, I mean, this is this has been a hard-earned win, something we've been working for for four years, and uh, just so proud to see our, time, our, our team come on the road, be able to get it done in a hostile environment. You said that Clemson is the benchmark program in the ACC. You just beat them. What does that say about what you are building here at Florida State? Uh, we're going to continue on our climb every day, just try to get better, try to capitalize the moments we get. I mean, these players, I mean, they work their tails off. Um, we got great guys. We got the right fit. Right? And now it's just time to continue to take those positive steps to where we're going. All right. Thank you, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you so much. And go Knowles. He's Sean. done a fantastic.